to some more Las Vegas in the Xfinity car. Some more be open. Uh, the reason we have returned is because we had uh, kind of like a... Well, it started with uh, Jeremy Freer. He wanted to do some beat open tonight. And then we kind of had to adjust the scheduling a little bit because Nick said he wanted to do a stock car Brazil race, which some other guys did. I don't own that car. Trust and then... So the time got moved back and then Jeremy couldn't do it anymore, unfortunately. But still, we got Gavin in here, Kyle in here, and then uh, Justin Schuler is in second split because we got a huge split here. 4.1 strength of field. So, um, we're back again in Vegas. Double or nothing this time. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know I can't resist doing the uh, Las Vegas jokes when I don't, we show up here. But uh, I'm going to take somewhat of an easier first lap just to make sure I don't get loose and uh, so I have a lap to fall back on. I like the second lane in 1 and 2. Less bumps there, and uh, I am personally able to keep it a little bit more stable. I just don't think this setup's very great on the short run, but I think it gets lots of good rotation, which can help for the longer runs. So that's what we're going to be hoping for here today, are the longer runs. push a little bit more of this lap. It's actually a little bit more grippy than I remember it being in practice. Okay. A little more grippy, but still pretty edgy. And pull it over here from a 240 to a 159. That's going to bring us to... It's like 8th for now. All right, I will definitely take that. That's about a tenth off my all-time best. Uh, just like last time, using the OSR setup, I bumped the tape up like 2% or something like that, and then just personal preference, steering ratio, and all that good stuff. But otherwise, nothing too crazy. Looks like Gavin, as of right now, is just a couple spots behind. And I'm going to do a practice pit in here. Because the car can get a little bit unsettled when you start trying to dive into the pits for a green flag pit stop. So, just want to make sure I get all the practice I need for that. Watch your speed. Eh, that was a little bit close. I might want to <laughs> take it a little easier during the race so as to avoid any black flags, but um, I'll take it. We are the nine car. I love it. I don't always get to do these uh, higher strength field races, and we are, or I am, off work today. So Gavin on the same setup. Uh, I think Kyle said he was on the same setup as well. He was asking about it. They're kind of experiencing what I was talking about, just not quite as much short run speed. But hopefully they'll be able to move up through the field with us. Uh, assuming I'm going to do that. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Are looking better now. Uh, I'm hopeful. Last time I ran this, it felt like I had some decent long run speed. We're a good half second off the fastest guys. Hmm. But we're going, uh, you know, we're trying to be fast at the end. Don't really need to be all that fast on lap one. Making sure I got my tape in the right spot. No idea how I managed that. 335. <laughs> Scrippy or even a word? Wishing him good luck. And I'll say the same to Gavin, too. And we talked a little bit in the practice beforehand as well. 
Fuck. Oh, healed. So, Gavin and Kyle, just a, let's see, about a row. Kyle's a row behind. Gavin is on the inside, two rows behind. So, well, <laughs> this is much going to be a much different experience, I think, than that low strength of field race I did. I got third in that one. Got some names I'm a little worried about. So uh, I think I might have to take Gavin's screen. approach as well. On the outside, pit road save is tires. Just be very uh, gradual with our speed. Try to be consistent and stay out of trouble. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens though. It's one thing to say, yeah, I'll stay out of trouble. And then you get out here and there's just a pile of cars in front of you. And easier said than done. So, I think uh, we're all good. I don't think I need to change anything here. Three tire sets of tires. Kind of came into play last time, potentially. Just because of the way the cautions were spread out. So, we will have to think about when we use those. 90 laps in total. We don't have the data. And I got crew chief ready to help me out with fuel calculation. We fell down to 14th when all was said and done. But not so bad. There are three additional sets of for this race. Like, uh, like already established, it is a very strong field, so... Top 10 would be fantastic as the number 9. P14, 90 laps. Alrighty, everyone's already... Ready to go. Follow On the grid. Zero, five, we're going to be rolling here in just a moment. Oh no, Kyle. Missed the start. Oh shoot. I wonder if he got on the grid and then hopped out where he hadn't changed tape or something. Or if he was just making some adjustments and didn't realize time had run out. That stinks, but I think we probably will get some cautions. And he'll have a chance to come on back. I hope so. <laughs> that really stinks. I think... Hmm... I think if I were farther up, I would do a uh, first gear start, but I think second gear is just fine if we're going to be farther back here. So we're kind of just taking it easy. Not too easy. Don't want to give all the track position away. But I'm going to get lots of space to people. Get ready. Going green. And see what we can do. Appreciate it. Oh, okay, I can't see all of a sudden. <laughs> Don't you love that when someone pulls right in front of you and you can't see the leader just at the wrong moment? Getting up to speed. Looks like we'll get a nice run out of the corner. Here we are going to be a little easier. Alright, so far so good. We made it a lap. <laughs> I kind of like this second lane kind of area right here because there's just those bumps in one and two. Even there's some bumps in the middle lane too, but the worst bumps seem to be kind of at the bottom and then some pretty decent ones up top as well. So I'm just going to want to avoid those. We really check up in the corner there. I'm actually going to put my Go ahead, but... temperatures up here because I did get a little bit aggressive with the tape. It should be just fine since we're lifting off during the race conditions and I was practicing with much more aggressive throttle application. 
think we should be fine, but I'm just going to be careful anyway. Hmm. Weird stutters with the frames. Less of that would be cool. Too wide up ahead. We're checking up a little bit more than I want to. Maybe I'm being too aggressive, but I will try to get around to the sky, maybe. I don't know why we were three wide. Okay, cool. Why are we still three wide? Why do we keep going three wide? I don't want to be three wide. Please stop. I tried to pass someone one time and all of a sudden they're like three wide out of nowhere. Alright. Easy on the throttle. Oh my god, these bumps are so evil. Much prefer that middle lane in one and two. Outside, okay, this guy's outside. blinking and wrecking that guy. Bro, Blaze, you just blinked in front of me and gave me a 4x, dude. Yeah, that's not great to see. <sighs> now we're gonna have to be around him. Not so bad on track position. I lost a couple of those spots because of uh, the surprise three wide that I knew I had to all of a sudden give room for. <sighs> I have no idea where he is. So this kind of stinks. Get a little bit of arrow push there with that big group of cars up ahead. Water temp's getting a little high. We're gonna get some track position, I think. I'm just checking up too much. That's going to hurt us later, I imagine, but I also did want to be around that uh, blinking guy. Okay, he's going to cross me over. For reasons unknown, unnecessary, but it's fine. I passed him in the first place, so I guess I gotta deal with it. So, thanks for fighting me. Uh, 
p 9s pretty good. That's about where I'm supposed to finish. Still really early, obviously, but feeling good on track. Had to push a little bit, but not too much. So I think we're okay. That. Why are people diving in on me? Man? Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't see you alongside me. I saw you behind me. People just think they can take whatever they want. I don't get it. People have this notion that if you put your nose like a lane down on the straightaway, that it gives them the right to the spot all, all like just automatically. Like, no. It's just shoving your way through the field. That was pretty tight. Yeah, Let's gotta go. Since he's clearly faster. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Trying to let him go. Clear into guys. Car in guys. That's one more tight. Still there at the bottom. Still there. Clear. So, filing in. Take it easy for a couple corners. Let the tires cool down a little bit, hopefully. I'm too bad. Dang. Guess I went a little bit too hard too early because it is feeling a little bit tighter than I would like, but not the worst either. Just trying to stay ahead of the changes. Come in just pit about halfway, I guess. Maybe just a touch before halfway since we did use up the tires pretty well already. You've just done a, a so maybe it's 43, 44. Hopefully it goes great and we've had green so far. It's pretty great. need to use just a tiny bit of brake on entry if this thing gets in tighter and for now I'm okay
Hmm. Yeah, not a fan. Oh, we had the 14 getting loose, I think. Saw a little bit of smoke. I got the 5 getting loose on the straightaway. Whoa. Getting a little kind of... Getting kind of wild here. Car's kind of coming back a little bit. It feels like it's getting a little less tight, kind of going back to closer to neutral, which is great. I remember experiencing something like that last time as well. Right behind lights taking that lower line in one and two. Seems like it's probably a little bit faster, but he doesn't get the run off. And I'm just too scared of those bumps on the low side to be wanting to run down there, to be honest with you. Seems like we've got more speed than the 13 and 3 and 4, though. So I don't want to just, like, give it to him. I don't even think he's necessarily faster. I think he's just got a better setup for 1 and 2 or something. That felt kind of weird, that corner. Wow. Go, he's going to the outside this time. I thought you liked the bottom in one and two. What happened? Looks like that's the way to pass. Get the 19 behind us. Have to watch out for a little bit. And lots of rotation on entry all of a sudden. It's kind of weird. It feels kind of weird, I mean. Wait, it likes to be pulling to the left. You can form down there. I'm getting loose, though. Car's going through some weird metamorphosis. <laughs> oh, he was in the whole track. Kevin has dropped back a little bit, it looks like. He's back in 16th or lower. I'm coming up fast. They're side by side ahead. I'm gonna move to session last lap. Oops. Wow, I look away for one second, I get loose on the triable. So, do this on the back stretch, I guess, then. <laughs> Lesson learned. Ooh, we got the Xfinity Wiggles. Oh my god, I had it and I missed it. I'm just gonna have to go without it. Maybe. Because this thing is a handful even on the straightaways. Gavin never uses it in any way. And he's... 
probably better than I am, so <laughs> should follow his example regardless. Right behind gets a mega run. Car inside. Clear. Much better in three and four though. <laughs> it don't matter who gets up there. Haha, -ha, session last lap. They said it couldn't be done. They're getting away. Yeah, unfortunately. Up ahead. I'm gonna try this bottom line. Yeah, that was just about as slow through the corner and I just lost some runoff, it felt like. Didn't really do me much good. All right, drifting it out of the corner. That's probably good. Man, I just cannot get it through one and two. Inside. Still inside. Still there, inside. Bro, Cal, what was that? I think he might get me here. Clear. Car inside. That was kind of Clear. Okay. I ran a little bit higher that time, and the bumps didn't mess me up too bad. So that might actually be okay. Or mid race, we're just riding. Man, they're fighting hard up there. Yeah, brick wall, so they're getting far. Uh... This guy's trying really hard to get around, though. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear inside, inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. We're going to need rubber soon. Take it easy now. Keep uh oh, we're in tire warnings. That's how bad I've been with the tires, apparently. A little bit of break this time. Finally does it. Oh, no. Bit of break on entry. I have to I have to pit. I'm gonna pit next lap. We're gonna go much earlier because I just have been atrocious with the tires. weird it, it feels completely different than my long run did last race but I was able to go a lot softer last race if I remember correctly pitting in here pitting in Alright. Decent stop. I like being the first one in. Five, three, two, 
one. Right here. Because if I'm the first one in and we get a caution, I might be the lucky dog too. That's how I justify this probable bad idea. Move it, move it. Hey Joey, uh, just so you know that, that was the apron. Like, you're all clear. Stay behind the line. I might left front just got to shoot up because I was about to hit. I don't want to. Okay. Outside. Outside is clear. Car outside. Clear high. Have a weird, awkward exit there. I just held my line. Oh, Gavin followed us in. Interesting. Gonna be nicer on the tires this time. Hopefully, get that undercut. I think we could still have ourselves a nice finish. It's looking like it might be green. I think it's going to be a really fun race. I hope so. We might have people wreck trying to pit. Like I said, it gets pretty unsettled on pit entry, so we could have guys, you know, have a number of problems, whether it's sliding and, you know, oops, I stopped on the track by total accident, quote unquote. <laughs> you know the, you know that one. You know that maneuver. Or, you know, just a genuine, like, someone's pitting in and then someone doesn't realize it, gets into the back of someone. There's a number of things that could happen. But we do have clean air, and uh, I can feel comfortable driving this how I want this time around. It's a longer run, but I think I can have the comfort to drive how I want and not have to worry about people running me over from behind or anything. So, I think I can do better this run on the tires. And hopefully, it'll go green to the end. So, I've got the undercut going for us. I feel like I can defend my position pretty well using the higher lines. You saw how much we had people stuck behind us, of being an absolute nuisance, I imagine. But I didn't feel like I personally was losing any time because I was just running the middle line and getting the run off. Outside. Up top. Gotta watch out for pitters, like that guy right there. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. Off distance, fuel looks good. Car outside. Get behind some crease too. Thankfully, it's pretty easy to get around, guys, here, so I'm not getting stuck behind slower cars really much at all. That's helpful to our strategy as well. Don't want to lose a bunch of time getting stuck behind guys. Car outside. Outside, clear. Got plenty, of fuel. plenty of fuel. I know it said the pit window was open like right when I was coming in so I wanted to just double check that but it seems like we are okay. Man, I'm loving this. I'm loving that we got some strategies playing out here, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, we have a lot of people still out on track. Which is very interesting. But a lot more people that we could potentially overtake. I saw Gavin back there about five and a half seconds whenever we first came out of the pits. Not sure where he would be right now. So hopefully he gets some. Take a long pull. Car outside. Hopefully he gets some gains from it. Still there. Clear high. Thank you. Car outside. He made it clear where he was allowing us to go, so that's nice of him. Okay, that's not the guy I had pitting in. 
exactly, huh? Hmm. Well, I hope he would, because that was already coming. Seems like the lap times really fell off, so I do think this undercut's going to do big things for us. Pitting this time, pitting this time. Let's see, Gavin is back 8.7 seconds. I'm pitting this time too. Pit ball, pit. Everybody's coming in now. Lots of people decided to come in a little late, I guess. Love out left, left 50. Seven. I'm not sure what happened there. Are they crashing? <laughs> it looked like he was gaining, and then all of a sudden he definitely was not anymore. Or was he just coming out of the pits? I don't know. This time. Just briefly saw his name, and then I saw it falling back. But I gotta tell you, this open space really helps me out. And it's probably just me, because I'm so uncomfortable around all the other cars and not being able to stick to my guns and drive the corners how I want. Just getting really uncomfortable, you know, you got guys blinking and stuff. So it's... Okay. It's a pit entry. <laughs> We're okay. What was I saying before I had a mini heart attack? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, open track so I can drive I want. Plus, you know, arrow making the car tighter, being harder on the right front. You now that's a thing too, if I'm not mistaken. So, Jenkins, you know, I, I do think we can save tires better this time. It's not like I came in way crazy too early. You know, we came in lap, what was it? It was 40 or so? 41. Wait, I, I can find out. Wow, I have Race Lab. 41. Wow, look at that. It has a memory for me, so I don't actually have to have a memory. But I came in 41, so that's not like unreasonably early. We got a guy on better tires coming up. He will fly on past us, but we can use some draft, maybe. That'd be cool. I'm gonna take the apron just so he doesn't hit me like that one guy did to Nick. You never know. <laughs> Shouldn't have to do that, but, you know, defensive driving over here. Man, I swear, just having that one car in front of me made the car tighter. Almost definitely all in my head, but I swear. Still got people pitting from the lead. It looks like that's the final one, though, so we will be back on the lead lap. And we go from wherever we were before we started pitting. I think, like, I fell back to, what, 11th, maybe? We are now in 5th. Now we're going to have older tires for a long time. But I'm not feeling so bad about this. We can let a good handful of people go still. And still be in a good spot still have gained from our pit, uh, green flag pit stops, so. And now I'm feeling pretty good. What I definitely don't need is a caution. Because I don't think I have very good short run. There's a guy coming. I'm full head of steam. Clear inside. So he gets around quick. I'm just going to have to keep my eyes out as well, because guys are going to be flying up on us. We got the 7 coming as well, pretty soon here. Is he going to reach me for this corner? I'm going to go high for him. Inside. Clear. Right. We got guys with fresh, shiny, brand new tires. Inside. 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 
inside, it's clear inside, inside, stay high, clear inside. Feeling kind of loose still, just a tiny bit. Where are we now? Sixth place. That's still pretty darn good compared to where we started. Jones, still lots of time. I think the six is going to be coming up on us fast. Yeah, he's 11 lap fresh tires, so he's going to catch us pretty quick. Those guys are running into each other. Not really what I want to see. Imagine that's not what they want to see either. Something to you guys. Should I just crack myself into the wall to avoid you hitting me or what? Clear inside. I I don't feel like I came off the track that. Uh oh, they're fighting. The last word because I had to steer really sharp there, but. I apologize, Andrew. It's probably just me. It, and, uh, it could have been me. I, I don't know. I just They're felt faking it out, though. really weirdly that I was fine and then just rapid. Like, I wonder how I Kyle's do doing. He never got the caution, did he? I just realized. My apologies if it was me. I oh, don't that sucks. Trying to think Joe, just trying not, not hit the wall. I hope he's not having too miserable of a time. I don't think I've even seen him on track yet. We're going to take the second lane here. Since this guy's flying up at Mach 10. We just have to know our situation. We're not going to be able to hold any of these guys off. We're just hoping guys' tires equal out over time. And we'll stop uh, hemorrhaging positions. And uh, when it's all said and done, we'll have gained from the whole pit cycle. So we're down in 8th now, I believe? Yes. C.8 behind. The guy that had a very interesting pit entry. These are all guys that were much farther ahead, so... Not too worried about the fact they're uh, now overtaking us again. Tires feel much better this time around, at least for right now. Inside. Go inside. Clear inside. A little bit of a draft I'm getting too, is it's kinda nice. It's minimal, but it doesn't hurt. Just getting a little bit of extra straightaway speed. Whenever guys come around. That five was ahead of us at one point. Will he be able to catch back up? Probably, but we'll see. A little bit sideways there. I might stop taking the apron. Just getting a little bit too unsettled, and any gain you would get from that is pretty minimal in the first place. So, probably just gonna avoid that going forward. Almost feels like we're on the right rear now. Interesting. Feeling a little bit loose. Much better than how tight it was feeling last time, though. I do prefer this sensation. Alright. 0.7 back. 10th place.
Oh wait, I said I wasn't going to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm a liar, I'm sorry. I just did it out of habit. Well, that got really loose. One entry. Alright. Good to know. Noted. Hmm. Probably not going to be able to keep the top ten. I did it again. I used the apron again. <laughs> Probably not going to be able to keep the top ten, it looks like. Probably, uh, going to fall back. Hopefully not too bad. But this 13 is definitely coming fast. It's so loose. Yikes, man. Not gonna try to do a crossover or anything. He's obviously much faster. Just follow behind for a moment. Right. I can't believe how like loose it's getting on the straightaway. That's pretty wild. I wonder how Gavin's doing. I don't see him on the relative. Can't be too far behind unless something happened that I don't know about. Seems like the tires have evened out a pretty good bit though. You see like this 13 got around us real easy, but we're keeping up pretty well. Well, not so much anymore. <laughs> he's still getting it. But he's uh, not racing off into the distance quite as quickly as some other guys have been. Comes 11th place behind us. Of course, it's gotten tight in a while. That was not a very good feeling. Getting tight and going towards the wall. Inside. I'm loose in front of him. Not gonna fight back after that. That's just gonna be putting myself in a dangerous position. Clear inside. Inside. Still there, inside. Go high. That's really loose. Didn't plan again on getting around this guy again, but I might. Tough hard for him there. Still not gonna want to try to over overtake him. Really. All right. That is twelve. We got four and a half seconds behind us, though, so we might be okay. A little too loose on the low side. Really prefer that middle line, so I'm going to try going back there more. But the car is uh, oversteer happy as it is right now. These higher lines seem to be preferable.
see. <laughs> that got close. That got real close. See, I need to just let it happen. So that way I can win races like Gab. <laughs> just let the wall taps happen. Why am I even lifting? Just hit the wall. If you don't have the pedal going, how are you supposed to go fast? See, this is why I'm getting past so much. <laughs> Uh-oh. Gavin back in 20th, and I think he just got lapped the moment I looked. Uh-oh. wonder if something did happen then. Not sure. I'll definitely find out when I watch this video, assuming it comes out. I don't know why it wouldn't. I don't know why I even said that. I said that. Like, yeah, I imagine it would come out. But, always excited to see his races. I'm good to see uh, how this one went. So I think we're going to be able to hold on to 12th here and hold off the 16. Great job. Here you go. Lap times are pretty consistent. That lap was at 32.2. Since tires have seemed to even out, have evened out at this point. At least enough that we we can hold on this spot. Potentially, if I don't get too sideways. Yikes! Okay, well let me not count my hatches before they chicken. What an awesome race, though! Green all the way so far. I'm gonna say that and we're gonna get green white checkered at the end and everyone's gonna die. So that kinda stinks, but it's been real fun. Even like just suffering through this loose race car right now isn't really so much suffering because I really do enjoy having to fight a loose race car. It's not doing me any favors right now, but it's fun. And that's kinda just what matters anyway, right? The lap time was at thirty-two point three. But much better handling of the tires this second run, I feel. Uh, just cause, much better to have a loose race car. And before it was just really tight and it was not comfortable at all to drive. The lap time was at 32.3. Filling the guy in ahead? Maybe a little? Oh, I'll have to look at that relative. We'll uh, see what he, where he's at uh, at the line coming up here. And see where he is the next lap, too. Oof. Well, never mind. Yeah, no, he's driving away. <laughs> Just gotta worry about bringing this thing home now. I don't think we've got anything else to worry about except maintaining what we have. Because we are coming to five to go. Man, of, of course, Kyle never got a caution. That stinks. Any other time, it would just be fantastic to have a caution for your race. But he just needed one, and it never happened. At least, not yet. But I don't know if he would. He's probably not on the, in the lucky dog position anymore anyway, which also sucks. Still, uh, even though we're not around anybody right now, it's still pretty darn interesting to me driving around here. Just because I really do have to work the wheel still with this thing wanting to get sideways. So I do have to stay focused still. I remember, like, one of the worst, like, 
choke moments I've ever had was uh, the 87s at Bristol. I wasn't like having a crazy good race or anything. I think I was like in the top five, top ten, or something like something like that. This was a long time ago too. But I remember there was like two laps to go or something like that, and I spun it on exit <laughs> in one of the corners, and the race ended, and I felt so bad because it sounded like they were having like they were gonna have an exciting finish up front, and I just lost it with like two laps to go. No excuse, just self spun it. That was pretty embarrassing. I felt pretty bad about that, so it can always happen. So let me make sure I don't do anything like that and bring it home in one piece. Two to go. We have the 23 overtaking the 16. He's not going to rock it up here, is he? He'd have to gain a lot in a couple of laps, but who knows? It's going to happen. What flag did Don? Yeah, we should be fine. Especially if they battle a little bit. Wow, how about that? Caution free race. Say that confidently now and not have to worry about jinxing it. Given. Why? Number four, I don't recognize him. Dirty air. Pretty rough. Dirty air, that's what I was thinking. It really felt like that affected how my car handled. Yeah, I only got two tires, though. Pretty rough. Don't recommend it. Hey. It wasn't intentional. Pull it in, P12. Yeah, we probably have to just take my first time to one thing to knock on now because of it. Bring it back to the pits. We're going. To do. We'll give it the old GRGW. <laughs> he kept on following me. I was like, I'm trying to let him go. <laughs> Good race. Good That's why I pulled over. All right. Good run, Ken. I tried to short pit, and it didn't help me now. Worst race I've ever done. Oh, no. That stings. Let down. Hmm. 4528. I destroyed tires first round, backed it off after pit stop, and was even slower. Yeah, the setup's not great. I definitely felt like I was fighting against it. It's like I said. I had 39 on my right front after first run. I mean, I, I think mine was probably pretty... I don't know if I ever looked at the tires, to be honest, on the first run. Maybe I did during the video, and I can see it in retrospect, but... Hmm. 39. So, yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty rough. But very strong field, too. We'll lose 9i rating for our 12th place. But, uh, whew, it was a struggle. We'll go ahead and see incidents. Probably not too many other than some wall hits, given that there were no cautions. What's that? Oh, yeah, this was the, uh, 
blinking out. So this guy somehow hits this guy from a country mile away. He even got a 4x from that, so... Not the greatest internet right there from the 8. I wonder if it ever sorted itself out or not. Yeah, he's blinking out right there. Just some baby wall taps. I'm going to try to find some instances of guys actually being near each other. But it was a pretty darn clean race. There's Kyle. Again, such bad luck there. The one cost, uh, the one race we never get any cautions. It's when he needed it most. Okay, he's having some connection issues too. So moving right along, he's probably not having any fun either. Just never having had a chance to be in it. You have it super tight. Probably these are tires hitting 50%. That's why these show up for no reason. I'm like almost positive. So this is me hitting like 50% on one of the sets of tires. A lot of Kyle. 25 looks like they might be getting under the wall. What did I do? Different tire hitting 50%? Maybe? I don't know. Moving right along, we're going to start seeing green flag pit stops soon. Everyone else doing better on tires, maybe. Just nothing going on but tires wearing out. Wall right there. Let's skip through these a little bit. Start seeing anything that might be actually interesting. Loose or pit stops? Loose. Alright, approaching halfway through the race already. A whole lot of nothing going on. These guys were racing pretty close to one another. We are inside the fence. <laughs> wow, the 3D experience. Put on your 3D glasses now. Oh my gosh, I am tired of seeing nothing. Alright, we're going hyperspeed. Hopefully it doesn't break. Everybody's tires are wearing out. Let's go, Mario. These guys are fighting for the lead. Whoa, he's drifting it. They're having some fun up there. I feel like we probably gained through the pit cycle, even though we ended up back 12th again. I don't know. Probably about the same as what we would have gotten. Everybody was just really good with their execution this race around us, I think. It all kind of just ended up equal. Oh no, Kyle getting loose. It gets real loose out of that corner sometimes. Taking a trip through the plains and gets it figured out. So well done keeping it under control there. The wall on entry for the 25. These guys are on new tires now. 17 kind of comes off the wall. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's interesting, because that's just like expecting guys to start heading towards the apex there and not being sure exactly when it's time to turn. I mean, I think as the 7 you have to just not turn whenever someone's on your inside. But yeah, the one was kind of far up the track for this point. So that's kind of weird. Really no harm down there, though. Just, uh, bump fenders a little bit. Oh, this was... Wow, that almost was a caution. There's your first real incident here. Looks like 14. Um, I think the 22 needs to be fading out toward the wall more right there, maybe. He's loose, I think, and maybe that's why he's farther down. But I think he should have been drifting up farther towards the wall. If that guy gets any more sideways, I think a caution comes out. So that's pretty interesting that this happened. Then he gets down on the apron. Thankfully no one decides to park it and just ruin the green flag race for everybody. Gavin, into the wall! Oh, really gets him unsettled too. He hit it pretty solid. He said he got tight the second run too. I was able to get it more on the right rear the second run, but I kind of even overdid it. Very tricky to get right. I think maybe the setup's not perfect. <laughs> Far from it. Because it's, it's very kind of strange to drive, to be honest. It's very weird that it got so tight initially on that first run. Just for it to get unbelievably loose the next run. Like, to have... What is that? Almost 20% lower... <laughs> right rear that's pretty significant so how you drive this really seems to make a big difference that was kind of weird too that looks like he's like frustrated and he's like oh, i'll just put it in the wall i don't know maybe not but it looks like he's annoyed with himself and just parking it or at least pulling it into the pits here Maybe I misread it, but it looked like he kind of, like, decided to just hit the wall at some point. Speaking of hitting the wall, 25's done it a couple times now. The 8 must have gotten the blinking figured out, because he's not blinking anymore, just hitting the wall. And I imagine uh, we're just going to start seeing tires hitting 50% again. So, I'm probably just going to call incidents there. Oh, one more Gavin wall hit. But I think, uh... Ooh, that was a big hit. Ooh, loose, and then that... He had to chase it up. There's probably my right front hitting 50. I was ripping the right sides off of this thing. Tires, tires, tires. Almost a self-spin. See, like, we could have had... Look at that. We could have had a caution on lap, like, 88. That could have been a caution. We could have had a green-white checkered. It could have been absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Ruined. Very happy that didn't actually happen. So I remember at the time I was saying, like, Wow, I can't believe we had a caution-free race. And there's, like, still laps to go. Moving right along. I think we are on the last lap now. This guy just giving it his all, seeing what he can get out of it. And, uh, I believe we are now in the post race where the four is doing their celebration. So, all right, um, I'll take it. It wasn't the greatest run there, but I'm also working with a free mom and pop setup, <laughs> minimum, minimum budget. And, uh, we moved forward a couple spots from our queue and, uh, just kind of did our best to hang in there. Basically broke even with the I rating. And uh, with a strong 4.1 strength of field, I'll definitely take it. I'll take a 12th place. Um, unfortunately, um, some of our friends here did not have very pleasant experiences. So that sucks. But uh, I'll definitely be checking out their videos as well. And I suggest you do too if you are interested. 
because uh, they've got some good stuff. So as for my video stuff, <laughs> that'll do it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.